Hey there, this is Al Perhax. I'm a marketing manager with Pimsler Approach. And I was talking to Alan English the other day. He actually stopped by my desk. And he wanted me to uh, put together a real quick video for you on something really cool that I think that uh, you're going to find helpful. And that is Google Flights. If you've never heard of Google Flights, it's really cool. Check it out. I'm going to type in Google Flights here. And when uh, Alan brought it up to me, he said, hey, have you ever heard of Google Flights? Have you ever used it? I never have. But let me tell you something. This is an awesome tool that I think you're going to get a lot of uh, great value out of. Let me just show you it real quick. Google Flights allows you to be able to go in and very quickly scope out uh, flights uh, throughout the United States, throughout the world, wherever you're looking to travel. I'm going to kind of give you a quick uh, rundown with it, but what I'm going to recommend, just log into Google and type in Google Flights and boom, you're there. I mean, you can pull it up from any browser, but check it out. Um, I've got it here from Philadelphia, although I'm going to put in Newark, New Jersey. I'm actually... Where I live, I'm like equidistance between Philadelphia and Newark, so I can go to either one. Whichever one's cheaper is usually one I go to. But what's cool is it gives you these options of where you can travel. What I usually do is I will put in nonstop to kind of give me an idea of where the pricing is for nonstops. What's really nice about this tool is it allows you to be able to scope things out in a way that a lot of the other, uh, let's say, travel agency tools don't allow you to do. You could certainly go to any of these, click on it, and it'll give you corresponding airlines that you can get direct flights to during the, the dates that I have listed, December 16th through December 20th, and then you can modify it. You can kind of work with it right here. If I wanted to change it from a non-stop, if I wanted to change it to one stop, obviously there's all the different options you're going to get a little more options it's going to be a little cheaper and everything like that it's pretty cool but it really it dials in exactly what you're looking for it then allows you to be able to click directly to Priceline, travelocity orbits all of these i've used before and if you've traveled a lot you've used them but alan english uses this a lot of times for when he wants to travel and he he wants to get out but he doesn't exactly know where he wants to travel to so let me just show you something that i think is really a great feature of this okay so here we are newark new jersey and we're just going to click on the map and it's going to pull up the map i haven't set a destination you'll notice but what this does is this showcases every non-stop flight on the map from newark new jersey so if I was trying to figure out, hey, I've got these this time date, I've got the Tuesday, December 16th through Saturday, December 20th, and I want to travel somewhere, take a week, where would I want to go? This scopes it out. Now watch this. All you need to do is drag the map, and it takes you to another portion of the map and gives you an idea of some other options. For instance, Europe. Let's say you wanted to travel to Paris. There's the price for a direct flight non-stop to Paris. Click on that. Automatically links up. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Shows you the, the flight line. It also brings up this uh, chart which kind of gives you an idea of of when the prices go up and down which is kind of unique. Now it's probably not exact because the airlines can fluctuate uh, quite a bit but it gives you an idea of what's going on there and of course you can click on here and show flights to go into more detail and of course like I said you can go non-stop price airline times and really it is just an, an excellent tool to be able to kind of scope things out let's say you wanted to go to Milan a little bit of a di different scenario so it's really a unique tool that you can use or how about uh, where's this Iceland I've never been to Iceland. That might be an interesting trip. But anyway, it's there for you. And I just wanted to showcase this for you real quick. Alan uh, English asked me to show this for you. He said, you know what? Our customers and people on our list would probably love to have a tool like this. And like me, I didn't know about Google Flights. I always went to either Travelocity, Orbitz, Priceline. I didn't know even know this existed. But this gives you a great viewpoint to get started on, on uh, setting up a trip on finding out where you might want to go, what the pricing is. It's also a great tool to just play with. And maybe you've never been to Milan or Paris and you've wondered what it would cost 
Well, this kind of scopes everything out for you. So it's kind of a, a dream building exercise, if you will, too, to set your goals for 2015. Anyway, I've enjoyed sharing this information with you. I think you'll get a great deal of value for it. This will come in handy should you want to take a trip in the near future. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day. So long.